I was wondering, yeah. what is it about action heroes and vulnerability that people seem really scared of? Because I think that's what that's I like That's an interesting question, yeah. You're, you're, I think that's... I have a take. Do you want to go yeah, first? Yeah, go ahead. Or? You go. Well, the truth is I've never written an action movie. Uh, I think I've, I've sold a, bun, uh, a couple of scripts that people would call action movies, but if you've seen my stuff, I mean, if you saw Ultra, if you've seen this, if you've seen Chronicle, I don't write movies about char archetypal characters. I write movies about characters who would probably work in other movies too and don't necessarily need to be in an action movie. If, if, you know what I think really killed the vulnerable action hero? Oh gosh, I'm scared to say this, but I think 9-11 was uh, right around the time guys stopped getting hurt in movies. And I like Channing Tatum, I think he's a good a actor, but there was definitely a rise of this is the type of character that's in an action movie. There weren't any Ghostbusters anymore. There weren't uh, Marty from Back to the Future. Suddenly it's the cool kid is in the action movie, is like in the teen movie. It's about being cool. It's not about being the, the loser, the nerd, or the underdog. And in our action movies, that became a trend to a level that's insane. Like, I mean, every, why in, in Jurassic World, Chris Pratt, a guy who trains Velociraptors, they go, yeah, and he's a former Marine. And you go, you think back to Jurassic Park and you go, archeologist, mathematician, archeologist, lawyer, guy who wants to run a theme park, two kids, those are the main characters. Like, and we lost the thing, even Independence Day. If Independence Day was made now, it would be two military guys up in the ship. Jeff Goldblum wouldn't be there, all that stuff with his dad. We got scared of looking like losers. And I think most of the best movies in film history have starred people who, you know, Sam's a really hot guy, so it, I, saying he looks like a loser <laughs> is not true. Eisenberg's hot in yeah, person too, yourself. but uh, but it's I think I think bringing just trying, you know, and I, this is God. If I say this, they're gonna quote like Max Linda says he's the only person who writes vulnerable characters. Put a gun in my mouth, but like trying to trying to write a trying to write a more vulnerable hero, I think makes a more interesting story, and I think we're we will move back towards that eventually. That's a, that's, a, that's a really interesting theory. I, I think that, that we, we are, you know, lacking Indiana Jones and, and uh, you know, he'd get, he'd get hurt and he'd say, ow, you know, or whatever. He, you know, he was vulnerable and, and, and that's what makes Harrison Ford incredible and in all in the, in the fugitive and he's a very vulnerable, he's scared, you know, he's, those heroes are, and anti-heroes are scared, but they go, they go anyway, you know, and I think that's an important uh, a factor that's that's that missing. Hard. Yeah. I mean, I remember we were talking about that. That was hard to get the balance. It's like how hurt can you get without yeah. getting too dark or too violent, and keep the light tone. Yeah, and that we, was yeah. the most difficult thing. Well, we in the were movie. you were really great about trying to get that tone, you know, and make make him because he is he's, he's we've created this kind of super assassin. But at the same time, we wanted him to be human, and that was very important. Yeah, so it's we like, how, how do you yeah. get shot in the face and still look cool? Yeah, how do you, exactly, you know, <laughs> there you go. 